Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 28th through November 3rd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Taurus. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Swords. So it looks like somebody wants to do something about something. There's a whole lot of standing still uh, in the current situation, at least. So I'm not sure where that applies, but we'll, we'll squeeze it in there somewhere. I'm sure it goes somewhere. Or there's a wannabe standing still. I don't know. Um, in the recent past, the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. You're looking like you're learning some sort of lesson, but it could be through you letting go of something, you know? Um, potentially putting something behind you here. It could be a separation involved or a loss of some sort, but it's definitely bringing in a lesson type kind of you acknowledging that, oh, okay, I've learned this, that, and the other through potentially letting this one go. Okay, in the current situation, the Two of Cups, the Hangman, the Nine of Cups. I mean, this is a beautiful energy of um, emotional fulfillment, just happiness that you're feeling in there. And by the looks of it, you're kind of standing still in it and just feeling it, which is great. Um, there is the potential here of this energy being shared with someone. So it's beautiful, all in all, you know? Okay. In the immediate future, the Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. But somebody's all of a sudden waking up one day and saying, I don't want this anymore. Why are they showing up like that? Because they're starting to really complicate things from here. So they're no longer in the feeling of it. They're in the thinking of it. And when that happens, like, okay, let me hold on. I found plenty of reasons to not want this. So I'm just not going to want this. Okay. All right, let's see what the hell is going on here. Let me do the Ace of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, the Star. Ooh, that's not a pretty energy right there. Because uh, somebody wants something, you know? You, you want to reach this end goal to something. And it's the way you want to get there. That's where I have a problem here. Because the Devil is showing up over that. So that's kind of telling me that at no matter what comes my way, at no matter what cost, I'll get there. I don't care how I have to get there, I'll get there. And that's, especially within this energy, that could be a dangerous slope, you know, for whoever this is. Because that could be somebody you're dealing with that doesn't have to be you, but definitely a pretty... kind of just unhealthy way of going about things. But let's do the Four of Pentacles in the recent past, the Two of Swords, the Hangman, the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, the big lesson in whatever this was, maybe still is, but was for sure, um, is that maybe you have to let go of something that you're having a really hard time letting go of, so it's not easy. Um, but you're understanding that that's the lesson there, at least. You know, you're acknowledging that I have to let this go. Whether or not you're doing it, I don't know. But you're understanding that it's something that kind of stands in the way of this brand new beginning for you if you don't. You know, so at the end of the day, it's going to be a matter of choice. Well, do you choose to let it go or not? You know, especially from this understanding that it's something that's in the way. You know, let's do the page of pentacles. You get the magician, the ten of swords, the moon. Man, the universe got you cornered here because it's definitely coming in strong. So it's if I would have seen that energy without the acknowledgement part, I would be like, you're not seeing it. You're not seeing that there's something in the way that no longer belongs there anyway. And you need to just remove it. You need to let it go. But with the acknowledgement part, that seems to be massive here i'm like oh so you're seeing it 
So then why is the universe cornering you here? Because you're having resistance to let it go. That's why. So when you're not seeing it, okay, the universe can corner you. Corner you. You're not even going to see that much. You're going to be like, oh, okay, life sucks. Ooh, boohoo. You know, no. But when you know that you're still hanging on to something that's preventing you to get to where you need to go, that's when the universe is going to come in and it's going to say, okay, so you see it. Let it go. And you're like, no. Well, okay, let it go. No. So I don't know. The universe has its ways. I, I have no idea how. It's going to corner you there, but it's big as cornering uh, with this one. Um, let's do the five of pentacles. The two of wands, the four of wands, the chariot. It is a commitment of some sort. So that could go from a friendship to a family dynamic to even a, sp a spouse there. Um, and it's been kind of cut off for qu quite a minute. According to the universe, the universe is like, this has been done. I don't know why it's still here. And Taurus is like, well, because, you know, because it is. Uh, so I'm not sure what happened there. Did you end up releasing this or no? Because from an energetic standpoint, it's it, there's nothing to release anymore because it's no longer there almost. Okay. For the Two of Cups, in the current situation, you get the Ace of Swords, the Temperance card, the Two of Cups. That's the Ace of Swords? That's the energy I'm seeing here? The unhealthy way of doing things? Yeah. Somebody wants to bring this together. You and another energy, one of you, is saying, I want this and I'm going to make this happen no matter what it takes. No matter what measures I have to take here. And those measures don't look good or healthy. But okay. Let's do the hangman. The king of wands, the queen of swords, the eight of wands. Oh, they're bringing up the charm here too. And they know how to do that, by the way. Whoever this is. Uh, they they're, they got a master in it. Um, by the looks of it. They're very aware of what they're doing. Hold on, let's do the Nine of Cups. This is starting to lean in the direction of manipulation. The intention is nice. The way they're doing it is nice. Not necessarily the nicest. Because they know exactly what they're doing here. To flip things around in their favor. And that, to me, yells manifestation. Not manifestation, manipulation. Manifestation in a twisted way. Uh, Nine of Cups, they get the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Three of Swords. No. I have no idea what this is. I don't think it's tied up to that situation in the past. I feel like we're talking about something completely new. Which uh, I'm, I'm catching my breath from time to time. As I said in the Capricorn reading, I slept not well two nights ago and I woke up a little cockeyed from the back and that hurts and i'm having sometimes a hard time breathing from the pain um i'll be fine it's better and better by the day but it's still there anyways so that's why you'll see me um i feel like this is a brand new situation you may be dealing with and somebody wants to partner up with you in any kind of way at this point i don't know if it's romantic not romantic maybe work with you i don't know they know exactly what to say uh to get there and what to do from a long-term perspective and when things are going to be revealed here for what they are this is not going to look healthy this is not going to feel like it's the best thing you know, from the performance they're putting on right now or the, the masks that they have on right now. Yeah, they know exactly how to do that. They probably don't know how to maintain that for the long term. Uh, because if it is some sort of manipulation, at some point it's going to reveal itself, you know, one way or another. So I, I don't think that's you. I think it's someone close to you that's trying to get close to you. Um, because if you were to do this 
I would see you applying different methods to this, not these ones. I don't think it's you. Anyways, let's do the nine of wands in the immediate future. The queen of wands, the ace of wands, the wheel of fortune. Oh, that's why you don't want this anymore at some point. It's like, you know, yeah, I thought I wanted this and everything looked fine on the surface. Everything presented itself as if, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. But then eventually you show up with no. And I'm not sure if it's um, an awareness kind of a where you actually realize, it. oh, hold on, something's off here. Or if it's just your energy catching on first before you do from, from a more conscious perspective and your energy just pushes this away. Um, I feel like it's the energy first that shows up as just feeling something's not right here. So I'm just not going to respond to this anymore. Um, let's do the six of pentacles. The king of swords, the ten of cups, the six of swords. Yeah. And then it reaches your conscious mind there. Slowly but surely. And you figure out that this is not something that you want. So I kind of get the sense that this is something that's trying to form right now in the current situation. And it looks good. And it's presented really well. And it's it's great. Um, the way this is coming together, it's not the healthiest though. Uh, because of the intentions of someone here. You know, they're not the healthiest. And this has nothing to do with you. It has something to do with themselves. You know? But slowly but surely, if this is brought towards you, you're the one that's standing here and starting to realize that, mm, yeah, no. You know? Um, for the Eight of Swords in the immediate future, you get the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the World card. You're going back in the past. Is it? No, it's not the same situation now. But this experience right now that's unfolding now, and then you realize, okay, this is not good. I'm just going to push it away. It's taking you back to the lessons of the past in which you didn't let go of something. And you're still having a hard time letting go of that. So this is a reminder to what you left open in the past. There. At a smaller scale in terms of intensity and feelings, but still a reminder. So this is bringing something up for you that has to do with the past. I feel like this one, you'll close it off eventually when you realize this is not good for me, but it will kind of take you back to a much bigger, much more intense kind of a situation that you probably didn't close off in the past, you know? So interesting that sometimes experiences show up like <laughs> More like reminders, like, hey, did you forget something about something? And you're like, uh, probably, because you are showing up as, I don't know, I don't know, you know. You're not shutting it down in terms of when you think and you associate this with that, you're not shutting it down. You're not, oh, this has nothing to do with that. No, you're kind of like, huh, hold on, how does that apply? Da, 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 da. So a lot of, if anything, there's a lot of overthinking that this situation is creating towards the past situation. Um, from the universe for you, as a final advice, you get the Three of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this might be not that great to deal with. Because um, again, in the beginning, it does feel and look quite all right. It's like, oh my God, yeah. Um, and then slowly but surely, you start realizing that this is this, this is no good. So from the beginning to when you realize there's going to be some time passing. So there's emotional investment there. There's, you know, so it's quite a painful kind of a realization that this isn't working out, actually. So it's going to take a minute for you to actually come out of this. But you are. You are. Uh, again, in the bigger picture, this experience is happening for you to make you realize that you forgot to close something off in the past, you know, but you'll get there to that realization. You're not there yet. For now, you're on the path of potentially closing this one down. So anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.